Today we celebrate International Youth Day, a day that resonates with the aspirations, the ambitions, the opportunities, the challenges, and the boundless potential of our young people across the globe. Our global youth stand at a juncture where opportunities and challenges seem to intertwine. A staggering 22% of young people worldwide find themselves adrift in a sea of disconnection, neither learning nor earning, according to the International Labour Organization. Now, closer to home, back home in South Africa, the scourge of high youth unemployment still casts its long, dark shadow over our young people, with a youth unemployment rate of 63% for those aged between 15 to 24. In South Africa, a shocking, a surprising 80% of public schools are deemed to be dysfunctional, which further emphasizes the harsh realities of our educational system that is plagued by crumbling infrastructure and teacher shortages. 81% of grade four learners in South Africa struggle to extract meaning from the words that they read. As evidenced by a 2021 progress in international literacy study. This, my friends, this is the worst rates in the world. Additionally, South African students also struggle and rate the worst in math and science, as revealed by the 2019 trends in international mathematics and science study that place South African learners at the bottom three of all the countries assessed. What are these statistics, if not an urgent call to action? Now, sadly, in South Africa, our youth face problems that extend far beyond unemployment and education. A concerning statistic has now revealed that only 33.8% of South African children live with both of their parents while 43.3% live with just their mother, 3.9% with just their father, and 18.8% of South African children live with neither parent. These heart-wrenching figures shed light on the fragmented family unit that our youth must navigate, despite countless studies having proven that a supportive, stable, and sound family unit plays a massive role in the educational achievements of a child. Now, according to the 2022-2023 third quarter crime statistics by the South African Police Service, 2,039 cases of abuse against girls and boys under 17 were reported. Sexual abuse of children and adolescents remains widespread, with one in every three having experienced some form of sexual abuse in their lifetime. Now, even though Child Line in South Africa reported a decrease in the overall call volume in 2022, uh, alarming data now reveals that 34% of the overall calls received by Child Line was to help children that have been affected by neglect or by abuse. This further emphasizes the urgent need for these issues to be addressed. This International Youth Day, we are asked to move beyond mere celebration and rather to demand action that would bridge the gap between awareness and impact. Together, my fellow youth of the world, you and I, let us tear down barriers ignite possibilities, and champion a future in which every young person can thrive. So this International Youth Day, let us, you and me, be the change makers, the advocates of progress, the champions of youth empowerment. Let us mark a new beginning of a new commitment to nurturing, uplifting, and embracing the boundless potential of 
our global youth. Thank you.